Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In the vastness of the universe, one name stands above all Jesus. Join Apostle Michael Orakpo as he unveils the profound message, the person of Jesus. Explore the life and teachings of Jesus, the cornerstone of our faith. See how the love of Jesus unites and transforms lives across the world. Experience the power, love, and grace found in knowing Jesus personally, revealing the heart and person of Jesus Christ. Shout Jesus! He didn't stop there. He also had to be called son of man. Because if he is not son of man, as son of God, he was able to prosecute salvation for you. But that's not all. He had to also be called son of man. Because if he is not son of man, you cannot have authority in the realm of God. Because as son of man, he represents man in the corridor of heaven. So that man can also have a stake. Because there is a court in Zion. The Bible said in Hebrews 11, 12 verse 22. It says you have come to Mount Zion. There is a court there. Men need to have representation. But the first man that will enter there in order to give room to men has to come as a man. So Jesus had to be addressed as son of man. Project that scripture. Write it down. Go and study it. You have come to Mount Zion to the city of the living God. 22. Hebrews 12, 22. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm yeah. beginning to sense some movement. Ah. You have come to Mount Zion unto the city of the living God to the heavenly Jerusalem. Now see representation. Angels are represented. He said to an innumerable company of angels. Go to the next verse. To the general assembly of the church of what? Of the firstborn. So the reason the church has a voice there is because there was the firstborn. That's son of man. If he is not son of man, you and I won't have. Imagine if in this country now there's no senator from your, your constituency. All the national location nobody will be there to speak church had to have representation so the church will come there if there is a son of man the first son first born because we will have we also have stake in the realm of god so the reason we have authority not only on earth but in heaven is because a man has gone there to represent us now hear this if you study genesis 1 28 when god gave adam authority it was over the beds of the air, the fish of the water, and the things that creep on the earth. But after Jesus resurrected, our authority moved to the spirit realm. We can now fight in heavenly places because we too have become stakeholders in that realm because of Christ. Let me show you a scripture. Daniel 7, verse 13 and 14. It says, I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like who? The son of man and came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and brought him near him and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all the people of the nations and languages shall serve him his dominion is everlasting dominion we shall not pass away and his kingdom shall not be destroyed so the reason we come into a dominion with christ is because he is also representing us as the son of God he was representing God among men but as the son of man he is representing men among God so if you go to heaven today men are represented so we can exert dominion not only on earth but also in the spirit this is why 
Ephesians 2 verse 21 the Bible says God exalted him far above all principalities and powers and above every name that is named and in Ephesians 2 6 he said we are seated with him in heavenly places if he didn't go there son of man you can't be there but now that we are seated with him there nothing can be too far for you to address we have authority not only on earth we now have authority in the heavens jesus now said wherever two or three of you are gathered together in my name he said there i am in the midst of them he said whatever you bind on earth is bound not only on earth now but what in heaven because now you have a voice in heaven so when we gather together as a church and we are shaking things in the heavens this is the foundation there is a legal foundation for us to address things in the heavenly places so it doesn't matter where your attack came from a principality who sits in the second heaven can attack you in the name of jesus you can rise above him and say i cancel it and it will change they can shut the heaven over your ministry don't cry you too now have authority in the heavens once upon a time only angels function there but now it's not only angels men too can function there so if you go to the belly of the sea and do something against me i can address it if you go to heaven me too i can go there and i can address things from the heavens because now i'm also a stakeholder there in christ jesus in christ jesus did you not read the story of job what was Job's problem lack of representation he said the sons of god came to god and he said satan also came but job was nowhere to be found and they, they argued a case against job he had he didn't have a voice and satan said i will go and afflict him god said well i believe he has faith since he's not here to speak for himself don't kill his life but you can go <laughs> but now if satan goes there and say i want to afflict him you will rise up in the name of jesus what are you talking about <laughs> there's no enchantment against jacob there's no divination against israel i decree and declare that accusation is cancelled i decree and declare that testimony is cancelled did you not read your bible he said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the walls of their testimony i speak for myself now even in the realm of god This is why you must understand the power of prayer see when you are in your bedroom you are not just in your bedroom there are prayers you are praying from your bedroom you are shifting the heavens you are shifting the constellations you are altering systems and they will look at you and say ah how can you do that because when i talk here jesus corrects co corroborates it in heaven i have a voice there i'm part of the church of the firstborn Every revelation has its place. If you know God the Son, you worship Him. If you know Son of God, you are sure of your salvation. If you know Son of Man, then you come into your authority in the heavens. So that you can shift things on earth. This is why now we can speak over nations. We can speak over generations. We can speak from the heaven. Because we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Son of Man. And then finally, the Bible calls Him the Christ what is the revelation of the christ i don't have time but the christ is the messenger of god but that messenger has a purpose if you study the word christ is the word christos and the word christos is the word mashiach if you go back to the old testament there are only three times three places where they use the word mashiach number one when you want to ordain a priest exodus 30 verse 30 he said get aaron and his son and mashiach them into the priest office number two is when you want to ordain a king first kings 1916 get hazael and mashiach him into the office of the king number three is when you want to ordain a prophet first kings 1916 first one 15 second one 16 he said get elisha and mashiach him into the office of a prophet when jesus is revealed as the christ it means three things number one it means you too have come into god's presence because you have come into the operation of the office of the anointing 
That's why the Bible said in 1 Peter 2 9, He said, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, God's own special people, called forth to manifest His excellency. So the revelation of the Christ is to help you find yourself. God sent Him to reveal to us His standard for men. So when we see Him, we become like Him. This is why a man can't know himself except he knows Jesus. Because it's in Jesus that you see yourself. He said, we all with open faces, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord we are changed. This is why all the apostles preach Christ. Because they want you to see yourself. And the first thing you will see is that now you have come into God's presence. That's priesthood. So for you, the presence of God is not somewhere you go to and come out of. You carry it. And the presence of God is not a feeling. It's a government. That was all God gave Moses when Moses went to to Egypt. Do you know what it means? It's just like going to fight Russia now as an individual. That's a crazy thing to do. But it shows you the excellency of the presence of God. He said, go, I will go with you. And the staff of Moses became the rod of God. Moses shows up, shut down the strongest civilization in the world. You think that was it. He now carried over 5 million men. No economic structure. No security structure. No military structure. No governmental structure. How will they survive? How do you feed 5 million men? You go and get 200 people in your house and, and can give us a testimony in two weeks now. But they carried something called the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. When they entered, the first challenge they met was the Red Sea. No boats. And even if you had boats, how, how do you carry 5 million people? Meanwhile, Egypt was chasing them behind. And Moses turned to the Lord, help us! He said, go forward. Stretch your rod. The moment he stretched his rod, the cloud that followed them became a whirlwind and the cloud ran through the sea and parted the sea five million men walked through the egyptian thought it was a tornado they didn't know that it was the present when they entered the ground that was not all they were meeting nations that wanted to destroy them go back study about sihon the king of the amorite study about og the king of bashan the Bible said these men were like beasts. A man will appear like a tiger. Some of them 18 feet tall. If they slap you, you will die. And you find an army of beasts come against you. You don't have an army. But all they had was the Shekinah. And because they had the Shekinah, if they carry stones, they will kill you. And that was not all. They were trekking. Somebody was 7 years old. He discovered his 30 years. Sander grew up. So it's not only men that grow. Sander too can grow. And the clothes you have been washing for 30 years. They discovered the clothes did not get torn. What is happening to the clothes? The presence. It's a government. It caused their shoe to grow with them. It caused their clothes not to get with it. Do you know what is happening here? It's divine intervention. It's divine protection. It's divine provision. So when you come under the presence, you can have one cup of gari. You'll be shocked what it will do for you. When you come under the present, you can have 100,000. You'll be sure what it will do for you. Your money will not finish. That's the presence. When they needed food, the Bible says manna fell from heaven. You are the only one who think it's only by labor that you eat. Labor is important. But Jesus said you have come to harvest from where you didn't sow. It's also possible to get from where you didn't sow. If the presence is on your life, manna can fall from heaven. They now said they wanted meat. And Moses said, God forbid. You are wicked men. Don't tempt God. God said, relax. Is it not meat? They said they want to eat. They will eat meat until they get tired. And suddenly, the wind of the spirit brought birds into the camp. Quails stood. Birds were sitting on birds. They were packing. They ate meat until they were tired. They said they wanted water. He said, where do you want to get water from in the desert? The presence can become anything. And God told him, go to the rock, strike it once. Water will come out. Another time, go to the rock, speak to it, water will come out. That's the power of the presence. When we know the Christ, we become participators of the presence. And when you come into the presence, you are protected. It doesn't matter who comes against you. Listen, let me tell you something. 
If they like, they should curse you. Nothing will happen to you. If they like, they should accuse you. Nothing will happen to you. If they like, they should cast despair. Nothing will happen to you. When the presence comes upon you, it can shut down an army. When the presence comes upon you, it can shut down a nation. When the presence comes upon you, it can provide. Even when there is no provision, I know the power of the presence. I know that power. I know what I'm telling you. When we were about to start ministry, all the money I saved, God told me, give it as a seed. I said, give it as a seed. We have speakers to rent. We have hall to hire. We have things to buy. Where will I buy from? Give it as a seed. The day of the inauguration, God sent me to a woman. I preached there. One service, they gave me 14 million. From that day, somebody will come. Eight thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. I said, "What's going on here?" He said, "The shakaina is over you. When the shakaina comes, wealth can come, protection can come, power can come, influence can come. That's the testimony of Christ. When we preach Christ, we release the atmosphere of the presence. When we preach Christ, we raise priests that can stand in the cause of God." Can we pray for one minute? Zahira, Baraka. This is a Barino Baragate. The Helaba. Yakapatani Baragado. Over the Goro, Nariata, Dalish. Dalish, 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 Kapate. Beketatiria, Baragata. The Hele. Yevendo, Beredo, Sakatina. Do you know what? Hear me. Do you know why I say we should pray? Because the technology has changed. In the days of Moses, it's God that sends the presence. But in our own day, we create it in the place of prayer. The Bible said in Matthew 17 verse 2, as he prayed, he said the fashion of his countenance was altered. His raiment began to glister. And he said they appeared before him, Moses and Elias. And he said a cloud descended from heaven. That means you can schedule when you want the atmosphere to rise. It's not something you are waiting for God to move anymore. You can provoke the move of God. But the key is prayer. Who told you your resources will finish? Can I tell you? It's not the government that feeds you. Your work with the government is a platform. Can I talk to you, sir? It's not even that business you are doing that feeds you. There's a technology of the Shekinah that dwells on your inside. When you stay it, your shoe will grow with you. Your clothes will not get torn. Manna will come. Protection will be provided. Whatever you do, it shall prosper. Because Christ is ordination to the priesthood. When we know Christ, we are brought into the presence of God. That's why in the New Testament, all of us are priests. They say he washed us. Revelation 1.6 and made us priests. So everyone has access to the present. And that's not all. You are also a king. Because when you know Christ, the anointing of kingship comes on you. Revelation 1.6 He made us priests and what? Kings. You know what Ecclesiastic 8 4 said? It said, Where the word of the king is, there is power. Who can say unto him, What doest thou? Your words carry power. That's what it means to be a king. That means you now can advance an agenda that is bigger than you because you sit in an office. When you came into Christ, you came into kingship, you came into dominion. See, the problem with Christians is that we were taught to beg. Christianity is not a begging religion. It's divinity expressed through humanity. It's coexistence, co-rulership, co-dominion with Christ. You declare, he said, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee. He said, when men are cast down, you say, there's a lifting up. He said, put me in remembrance of my word. By thy word, thou shalt be justified. By thy word, thou shalt be condemned. Why? Because you are a king. Where the word of the king is, there is power. Who can say unto him, what do I say? Brothers and sisters, hear me. This is why you can't waste your life gossiping. Kings don't gossip. 
We give laws by proclamation. That's why you can't waste your life by talking, being a busybody. No, no king does that. When we talk, there are laws. When you talk carelessly, it means you don't know who you are. But some of us, we release healing by talking. We release prosperity by talking. We change seasons by talking because we know we are kings. By what technology do you think I can stand here now and say let the door open and it will open? It's because of the Christ. He made us kings. We have been mashiached. Because when we see him, we don't see him. We see ourselves. He said when we behold, we are changed. When you look at him, you'll find your originality. And what he has made you is a king. And that's not all. He has also made you a prophet. Prophet, not in the office of a prophet as it were. But now you have access to the voice of God. Because that's what the oil is meant for. That's why Jesus was speaking in John 11, 27. He said, my sheep heareth my voice. The voice of God is no longer alien. You can hear. And when you hear God, you are in charge. Because when God talks, his voice is like the sound of many waters. Even the dead can hear the voice of the Son of God and they will leave. That's the power he has brought us into. The message of the Christ does not just reveal God as the messenger of God. The message of the Christ reveals to you that now in Christ you are a king. In Christ you are a prophet and in Christ you are a priest. That means you have authority. That means you have the voice of God and that means you have access to the presence of God. This is who the Christ is. The message of the Christ is to reveal him and to reveal yourself through him so that he can be glorified. Lift your hands toward heaven and pray. In one minute, can you ask God, cause me to walk in my ordination as a king. Cause me to walk in my ordination as a prophet. Cause me to walk in my ordination as a priest. We have two minutes. Something is about to hit here. Rekania, Mariate, Veret, Vererete, Zagasiza, Bakata, Parash, Bakata, Parash, Elele, Ah, 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 said Christ in you is the hope of glory because when he's in you he makes you a king he makes you a prophet and he makes you a priest a king because you carry authority a prophet because the voice of God is with you and a priest 
because you are now an envelope of the presence the Lord wants to ordain some of you into those offices realms of dominion realms of power carriers of presence carriers of the voice carriers of the life wherever you are standing I release that of that, 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 that grace I proclaim those dimensions now in the name of Jesus all shall accept them I want to lay hands on them let that grace come upon you now in the hall in the overflow rise of prophets rise of kings rise of priests carry that fire carry that grace Sefele Barreto Lahilade Pariana Tavak Out of their belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters, rivers of living waters. Watch us help them, an operation is taking place here. Mantles are resting. Graces have been awoken. Dimensions have been activated. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now lift your hands for one minute. I'm seeing that I'm out of time. I want you to just pray one prayer. Lord, give me an encounter now. Give me an encounter now. Give me an encounter now. This is the hour. God is in the business of making men. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, the waters are stirred. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are 14 of you that God is bringing into a new ordination. Some of you are rulers. You will step into a realm of authority. That men will wonder, are you still a man? Some of you are entering ordinations of the voice of God. Some of you of the presence of God. Wherever they are standing, ushers, you will help me now. In this hall, in the overflows. The encounter with the Christ. The son of the living God. Father. Maheleke. Cecila. Birada. Paragate. Helelavia. Bantere. Barako. Zagaziza. Anze. Zevere. Mantatari. Baragata. Aliata. Sasai. Baki. Vero. Shamak. Lavanta. Parigata. Wherever they are standing. Father, let that grace begin to rest upon them. Prophets, kings and priests, arise. 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 Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. Oh, shall help them. Oh, shall help them. I release that grace. I awaken those ordinations. Mantles of the ancient. Dimensions of the Christ. Meleke Teketurua, Afefare, Bararato, Sazana, Sazana, Sali Katulaka, Bererate. Help them, help them. Bate.
please lift your right hand toward heaven. Tonight, God is not only going to heal or deliver. Some of you will step into your dominion in Christ. He said, you shall decree a thing, it shall be established unto you. Because you are made a king and a priest. Lift that hand toward heaven. Please help the sister, help her, help her. The Lord is telling me now, he's bringing some of you into the awareness of your dominion in Christ. And so the oil will descend upon you. Father, wherever they are standing, I'm rounding up. Wherever they are standing, those who are ordaining into the office of kingship and rulership, Lord, I ask for that activation now. Can we be quiet for a moment because of our time? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just be still. And you will see what the Lord will do in a moment. Father, wherever they are standing, let that fire hit them now. Rulers, carriers of dominion, carriers of powers, an authority just play the keyboard only from the left to the right to all the overflows to those watching online now take that power take that power there is a ball of fire coming upon someone it will hit you like a tornado carry that fire now new realms of authority new realms of power thank you lord now everybody under the sound of my voice I don't care the affliction you are going through now. It can be a sickness in the body. It can be a circumstantial limitation. It can be a relational crisis. Whatever it is that has gone wrong with your life. I come in the name of Jesus the Christ. The Lord. The Son of God. I decree and declare now. Let every chain break forever. Chains of bodily affliction. I command them to break now. You couldn't see, begin to see. You couldn't hear, begin to hear. You couldn't walk, begin to walk. You had a blood condition, an organ condition. Receive your healing now. Command every forces of stagnation holding you back, holding your finances back, holding your progress maritally, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, they go down now. I command their dominion to cease now in the name of Jesus. Every relational crisis, I dissolve it now. Everything that has made your life a reproach. You have come under the radar of Christ. Now I decree an exchange. Step into your glory now. Step into your glory now. Whatever has been stolen from you. I decree sevenfold restoration now. Chains of limitations are breaking. Marital limitation, financial limitation, they are breaking, they are breaking, they are breaking. Come out of that pit. Tumors are leaving people's bodies. Things that are buried in their bodies are disappearing. I release your liberty now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Some of you have been afflicted in your dreams. I'm seeing patterns and manipulations in the spirit being altered. 
and things stolen from people are being replaced. I decree and declare it is done speedily in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, wherever you are standing, if you have never publicly proclaimed Jesus as your Lord, everything we have said here, you have no business in the matter. You receive Jesus by accepting him as the Son of God and submitting to his Lordship. Wherever you are standing, just place your, place your, your left hand on your chest and lift your right hand. Wherever you are standing, you can't take the risk of waiting till tomorrow. If you have done that, say this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all my heart that Jesus is your son. I confess with my mouth that he is my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. I am cleansed of all my sins and I repent of all my iniquities. Thank you, Father, for receiving me. Now I'm a part of the family of God. If you said that prayer, I will pray with you now. Dear Heavenly Father, everyone surrendering to you tonight, we ask that this night become the night of their encounter. Show yourself strong in their lives. As they are redeemed as God's children, we decree that the glory of God will manifest in their lives from tonight. Let your testimony become one that attracts the attention of your generation. In Jesus' precious name. If you have said that prayer, wherever you are, whatever auditorium you are, the counselors are standing. You can just make your way to them so that they guide you on what to do. Because from tonight, your life is about to take a turn to glory. In Jesus' precious name. Have you been blessed? Somebody lift your hand and shout glory! Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.